What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. I have a quick video for you today, just a quick stretch. Uh, that is not a one fix all, but uh, it, it, it gets pretty close. Uh, this is called the greatest stretch in the world from uh, Squat University. I cannot take all the credit for this stretch. I got it from Squat University. I, I will link his video in the description below and I got everything that I'm gonna show you in this video from him. He is a doctor of physical therapy and strength coach and he uh, uses this stretch. Uh, and, and recommends it to everybody. And since I have started using it, it man, can I feel a difference. And it, it involves the hip, uh, the groin, the, the upper thoracic back, uh, the shoulders as well, and really just gives you a lot of core strength, um, hip flexor as well. So I'm gonna show you a couple different variants. And, and I just wanna tell you that uh, as, as a person who has a lot of pain in the hips, the groin, the lower back, and I have struggled with some thoracic pain or tightness before. And I could imagine that everybody is going through that because of the way that we use cell phones today. If you have kids that you hold a lot, they cause a lot of tension in that upper back. If you have bad posture and you slump your shoulders forward, you, you probably have a lot of tightness in your thoracic, your upper back area from here to here, and you notice it daily. So you try to either go to a chiropractor or do some rolling, um, but really this stretch alone opened my, uh, my upper back up and just felt so much more better in any kind of rotation. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so there's a couple of different levels to this stretch. And again, if you can't do one part of it, that's okay. I'm gonna kind of talk through what you can do to you know kind of just work towards that. So many of you have probably seen this first part. You're gonna go ahead and just get one of your legs out in front, all right? now. You're gonna to wanna to push forward, all right? Feel the stretch all in here. Um, the goal is to get the, the rear leg to stand up, all right? So that you're getting that stretch and that hip flexor and groin there, all right? And also working that core, all right? But again, if you have to, you can keep the knee down just to start working and get the stretch on this leg itself, okay? And then eventually work to getting this leg up to get that stretch, all right? So this is just the first part of it here. This alone is a pretty good stretch for the overall lower body, all right? But what we're gonna do from here is plant this arm straight down, all right? And we're gonna take this arm and you're gonna rotate as far as you can, all right? Getting that thoracic back stretched out. If you can't get far enough over, that's okay. Just drop your arm straight down. Straight down just like this. It'll start to loosen up the back and eventually once it starts to stretch out enough, You'll be able to push down, stretching that upper back and that hip area. Do it for about 10 seconds. And then you're gonna rotate up for about 10 seconds. And then you're gonna come right back down. All right, again, you wanna keep that leg straight and up. You don't wanna dip it down. All right, <clears throat> you wanna keep it nice and straight. Then you're gonna switch it up to the other side. Get that leg forward, loosen up a little bit. All right, lift that rear leg, plant the arm, take your arm. 10 seconds, rotate up. Again, if you cannot get that arm all the way over, just drop down, straight down. It'll start to stretch out the leg, the thoracic in the back, and then eventually more. Back up. Now, if you're looking at before and after your workout, it looks a little bit different. The workout, the, the stretch itself does not is not different. It's just uh, the, the duration. So um, <clears throat> pre-workout, getting ready, warming up. Again, you wanna stick with that under 10 second mark. All right, we don't wanna weaken the muscles. We wanna just get them primed, get them ready. Open up the back, open up the hips. Uh, Post-workout, you can go a little bit longer if you can hold the position. Looking at like that 20, 30 second mark, if you can hold that position. But again, you don't wanna go too long if you're doing it for a warm up. You're just priming the muscles, open up the body, getting it ready, not weakening the muscles by elongating them, all right? 